Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer DeBona and I do business as That CAD Girl. That CAD Girl is a charter member of the original Carlson College and we provide training and support for Carlson Software, AutoCAD, and IntelliCAD. Thank you for watching. So for this video, I'm using Carlson 2020 with IntelliCAD and I want to show you how to save all of your Carlson settings to a backup file called a CFG file um, or configuration file. So you're going to do this by going to the settings pull down menu under Carlson configure. So Carlson configure is uh, where you can go to set your Carlson defaults for most of your programs. But where I want to show you here is these two buttons down here at the bottom right that allows you to save as or load a configuration file. So if I click on save as, you can see that it defaults to my settings folder um, and it's prompting me here for a file name. So you can see some various ones that I've created in the past. Uh, so all you have to do is just give it a file name and for me, I'm just gonna export one with today's date and my name. Uh, when I save that, you can see how many settings it has saved for my installation. So I have all of the programs loaded on my computer and so the number of settings is going to vary from person to person or even, you know, uh, computer to computer in your office. But this CFG file can be uh, very valuable uh, to you whether you are you know, I guess for a variety of reasons. Um, maybe you're the person in your office that has been tasked to set your company defaults. Maybe your whole company is moving to it um, and you are in the process of going and just setting up your company standards with layers or what have you. So my recommendation um, is that at the end of every day, or maybe at the first of every day, you go and you save a CFG file with that day's date, maybe your name. Uh, and that way, you know, a day or two down the road, if you realize something's changed and you're not quite sure what you changed, you can always go back and reload a previous version of that CFG file. And then eventually, as you work through it, you're going to come to a place where you're not making a bunch of changes and you can just create one master CFG file that you can share with your office. So to populate that, uh, all those settings on every computer, you just have to make that CFG file available to everybody on your network. Um, and then everybody goes here to the same place and uses the load button. Uh, so that's one way that uh, you, can, you can use this. The other way is it's just going to be a handy, very valuable backup if you have a computer crash um, and you have to reinstall. If you've got this CFG file saved out to where you can get to it, it's just very easy to get those settings back. Um, if you have a new user in your company, you can always just share your CFG with them to give them a head start. So that's my argument uh, why I think everybody should get used to going in here and, and using these CFG files. Um, it just may save you from a disaster someday. So hopefully you found this little video helpful uh, and it saves you picks and clicks. Thanks for watching.